This video is the product of the Functional Cranial Release Research Institute. For difficult neurologic conditions that no one seems to have answers for, visit functionalcranialrelease.com. The constant grinding and clenching, uh, I'd wake up in the morning and my whole jaw area would just be very, very sore. I'd find myself doing the same thing uh, throughout most of the day. So it was not getting any better. It's affected my teeth dramatically in terms of the grinding of my teeth. Um, I was going to have some reconstructive work done and I wanted to come see you because I follow, followed you on your website and I liked all the stuff I saw. It made a lot of sense to me in my own mind. Mm -hmm. My main problem with my jaw is I clench and I grind really bad. Uh -huh. Almost the clenching. I mean, when I wake up in the morning, it's like my jaw set. And so your experience with the um, with the work you've had done here, mm -hmm. what are you feeling now? Well, I slept without my mouthpiece last night, and he would have heard me grind. Ooh, it's that I, bad, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, I screech. And this morning when I woke up, I didn't have that same feeling in here mm -hmm. that I had before I came. Yeah. Most definite difference. Plus, oh. I feel like my bite's different. Yeah. Open and close for me. Yeah, I mean, that was popping way out uh -huh. at first. So one of the things that we, um, we kind of spoke about and you had seen on my website was um, for people with TMJ, they can put their fingers on the sides of their jaw and open and close, and you'll notice that the um, mandibular uh, condyle will actually pop out. That's the name of this anatomy is the mandibular condyle. It's right. what fits into the skull here. Right. And one of the things that I teach is that you can change the shape of the actual skull, but you can't change the... the this, this bone is fixed. Right. And so you can work on this part here, but you can't really change this bone because it's one bone. And that as a consequence of um, living in a culture, cultured uh, civilization, mm -hmm. uh, this was research that they did over, you know, back in even the 50s, is uh, Weston Price, who was a dentist, he, he discovered that our skulls are actually collapsing and shrinking. And it has to do with you know, us not eating harder food so our, our skull doesn't develop normally. And so a lot of kids will also become mouth breathers and so you don't have a stronger tongue that holds this facial, um, these facial bones out. So the combination of those two things, you, you, we don't develop properly. And like a hundred years ago, we didn't have to have our wisdom teeth removed. Right. Think about that. Exactly right. We had wide enough palates. We had wide enough palates, right. right. <clears throat> and so this work, using the balloons and releasing these, um, not only the connective tissues that are inside the skull, but also the bones themselves, starts to reverse that from the inside out. And that's what makes okay. functional cranial release so unique, you know, with the use of the endonasal balloons. So, okay. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a small balloon in through the nasal passage and we're gonna release some of this um, areas of the skull that are causing some of your jaw problems and some of your balance problems, okay? Okay. So we're just gonna be going in this right side right here and very gently placing this balloon here. Okay, both arms are going to go straight up. Okay, and I've got your body positioned in this very specific manner so that we're able to release these different connective tissues that are deep inside of your brain and spinal cord. So you're going to take a deep breath in and hold that. Just slowly going to inflate. Slowly, almost done. There. What did you feel? I felt up in here release. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Actually, it feels pretty good. <laughs> it has been progressive probably the last 15 years. It's just been a progression mm -hmm. throughout the whole, and finally, it was, you know, the dentist said wasn't going to get any better. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, the next step would have been surgery. Yeah. And 
that doesn't usually turn out well. Mm -hmm. So, and I'm more of an alternative type individual anyway. So, mm -hmm. I searched you, and like I said, everything you said made sense in my own mind what you were doing with the functional cranial release. Tell me a little bit about your history with the balance. Uh, with my balance, I played a lot of sports when I was younger. Uh, no problem whatsoever. As I got older, I didn't notice that I had any balance problems, you know. Sometimes if you do exercises and you try to stand on one leg, okay, well, it's not quite as good as it used to be. Contributing it mostly to I was getting older. Mm -hmm. Until I came here and found out that my balance was actually much worse than I was even given it credit. Mm -hmm. So, to see what I see now and just how I feel now is all the difference in the world. Mm -hmm. You've yeah. done a great job. Because we're testing your uh, brain function with this and your brain's ability to manage gravity in an AP forward and backward sway and a lateral sway. Yeah, so this, this is actually a study I did on 60 patients that had four days of treatment like you did. Uh -huh. And there's about a 30% improvement um, across the board. And that's about what you got. You got about maybe a little bit more than average. But you had a very excellent response. Uh, Hi, this is Dr. John. Thanks for joining me. If you or a loved one suffers from difficult neurologic conditions that no one seems to have answers for, send them to functionalcranialrelease.com. You can contact me by phone or email me at askdrjl at gmail.com. And remember, if healing is possible, consider it to be within your reach. Bye for now. Functionalcranialrelease.com